Disclaimer time, Toho belongs to Zoon. Any pictures, videos, or music here belongs to their respective owners. So let's get this started. Hello, Magic here, and we're back with another episode of Top 10 Toho List. In this episode, we'll be doing a category that's called About Time. Saw it coming. These are pictures that have been highly anticipated or expected in the fandom, or at least obvious in retrospect. An example will be one with Yuyuko and Kirby since they're both crazy eaters. It can result in a, why the bloody hell hasn't this been done yet? Like this example. Or it can involve material that fit well together for clever or comedic purposes, like this. Now that you understand how this list will work, let's begin the top 10 Saw It Coming Toho pictures. Number 10. Mima. Our ever-loving evil spirit has been a character the community has been longing to return in the Windows era. I would no doubt be interested in seeing Nima in this generation as that would make a really big impact. While the chances do seem low at the moment, we can't give up hope, and if she does return, it looks like she already has a friend waiting for her. Doesn't matter if you're a ghost or an evil spirit, as long as you have a ghost tail, then you're good to go. Number 9 When in a zombie apocalypse, you're gonna need some weapons to beat those undead bastards. A gun is no doubt effective. Bows, crossbows, swords, axes are just one of many types of weapons you can use. Another favorite is a chainsaw. While not my preferred tool to kill, a weapon is a weapon in the end. Let's show someone who enjoys to use a chainsaw. Alright Seki Bunky, I can tell you've been playing quite a lot of Lollipop Chainsaw. I'll give her props. She's doing a double cosplay. One for Julia and one for her decapitated boyfriend Nick. Number 8. Sega. Oh bloody Sega. Aside from being a dead fetus ball slinging hermit, there's just something about you that I can't put my finger on. What is it? Hmm. Alright, this picture explains why. Sega! To be honest, this was a crossover that was bound to happen. Alright, aside from having Yoshika as a companion, you now have Sonic as an ally. This can't be good, that's for sure. Although who would win in a race? Aya or Sonic? Number 7. As you guys may or may not know, Ran is depicted to have a very motherly feel to her when it comes to Shen which is really heartwarming and adorable as well. It would appear that this doesn't extend to only Shen. It looks like Ran has adopted Tails into the Yakumo family. And in time, Tails will have 9 Tails just like Ran does. The only question is how will Shen feel about this? Number 6 Let's talk about a game people have been waiting to play, Mighty Number no. 9. For those who don't know, it's the spiritual successor to the Mega Man series, being produced by Keiji Ifune, I hope I said it right, an important man behind the Mega Man series. And as of this recording, its release date should be February 9th, 2016 for North America. As you can tell by the name, you can probably guess where this next picture is going. It looks like Chirino got an upgrade, that's for sure. Maybe she'll be able to gain the Demaku of the opponent she defeats. Number 5 Don't you hate it when you're going to a website, maybe checking out what's been happening, and see that it has that 404 error. Rather annoying, I must say. While it is irritating, at the very least, this next picture makes it more tolerable. An error has occurred, indeed my friend, I ain't gonna lie. If a website used this, I'd laugh for a bit and then probably close it. Number 4 Sometimes your title can be very important as they can define you, like the Hakurei Shrine Maiden, the Ordinary Magician, or the Maid of the Scarlet Devil Mansion. While it's cool to have a title, some people take it a bit too literal, like this person here. Okay there, Alice. I know one of your titles is a seven color puppeteer, but it doesn't mean you had to die yourself in a rainbow fashion. 
Even her puppets are embarrassed by this, and that's never a good sign. Number 3. Legacy brought a character which a lot of people have been enjoying, and that's Clown Piece. That's not to say the other characters aren't awesome, but you just take one look at Clown Piece, and you can't help but make some Murica jokes there. This next picture should be no surprise. She's the fairy that America needs. Probably, anyway. If Zoo never made a Canadian character for the series, I'd probably die from the hilarious yet awesome person this girl could be. Number 2. Speaking of legacy, another character we can't forget is Junko. Since she was the person who was leading the attack on the Lunar Capital, and she's one annoying ass final boss. While it's clear that Reimu, Marissa, Sane, or Raisins are the one to defeat her, this next picture kind of makes you wish this person was the one to confront Junko. While she may not live in the Lunar Capital no more, it doesn't mean she doesn't care about it, as evident in Silent Sinner. Either way, it would be one hell of a battle. Number 1 Again, another involving legacy, a trifecta of pictures if you will. Anyway, Dormi is a Baku in the Toho universe, they're the residents and rulers of the world of dreams and their job is to maintain order in such world. Being yokai in dream world, I'm sure you tend to see a lot of dreams or people. Well, it ain't no surprise that the two of them came here at the same time. Even Dormi thinks of them as lovers. But from the looks of it, if they continue to slack off, the three of them will become close friends. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Which pictures were your favorite? Do you think the joining of Sega and Sonic is a good idea? Are you planning on playing Mighty No. 9 and experiencing the strongest gameplay? Or would you love to see a battle between Junko and Aaron? And if you guys have any suggestions on what list I should make next, let me know and I'll try to work on it. All the way, this is Magi and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode.